All right, something crazy is happening. We were supposed to end up go. I'll say it. All right, guys, we were gonna go to Java tomorrow. Our plan was to go on a train and then rent a car and spend ten days traveling Java, <sighs> East Java. We didn't get a train in time because we're such last-minute people, and there's no good time for a train in the next two days, and we don't want to waste any days here in Indonesia. So our only option is maybe to go to Bali. <laughs> but then again, the cheapest flight is tonight at 10:35. We already paid for this Airbnb. It's $13 for a night. So we're thinking let's just go to Bali right let's now. Let's just go. What time is it right now? Let's see. It is 7:17 p.m. Let's try to leave by 8. Okay. Can you message our Airbnb host? Yeah. Okay, we have this to clean up. It's about to get hectic. I didn't know the airport was an hour away. I would have never agreed to this. Anna forgot we flew in two days ago and it was an hour drive. It is CGK. it is 8 p.m. Trying to get a grab. T2. T2E? Just T2. Can I just go T2E? I think so. All right. CGK. How far? <laughs> this is insane. We just got packed up in 30 minutes. He's two minutes away, Anna. Let's go. This was an awesome Airbnb. I swear. Stay here if you're near Jakarta. Super cheap, super affordable, and super convenient. You can get free rice and make dinner every night. You have a living area and an awesome bedroom with AC, of course. All right, the link will be down in the description below. We're headed out to our grab driver right now. We need to get there. It's raining out. Oh my God, I'm scared. All right. There he is. Is he here? Currently 7.50 p.m. We have an hour drive to the airport. Thank oh, you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. We really loved it here. Yeah, and thank Seriously. you for all your help. Okay. It was awesome. Yeah, bye bye. Sorry bye. we're leaving so quick. All right, so our grab driver has to stop at an ATM real quick. It is 8 p.m. Yeah, I don't know how long this is gonna take because he needs money for the toll roads. Just to give you guys the information about how much this flight was, it was 1,621,000. I'll put the conversion up right here. It was about like $112 with baggage. Really, really cheap, actually, last minute flight. If we make it, this is gonna be epic. Anna's booking our Airbnb at the moment. So we'll probably arrive in that Airbnb at 3 a.m. Made it to the airport, it's about 9 p.m. Flights takes off at 10.35 p.m. I think we're in good shape. Hopefully Jakarta Airport is as efficient as Malaysian airports. Something not so good. My tripod right here on the side of my bag. Yeah, for some reason they said I'm not allowed to bring it on the airplane. I'm supposed to check it, but we've had it on like every 20 time flights. Every the airport, <laughs> every single airport has a different rule. The other day, I got my nail clippers taken for me. And now I have to pay $15 to buy a new one. It's sad out here, and our flight leaves in about an hour. We ended up having to check in Anna's carry-on bag with my tripod in it. So all you travelers trying to come to Bali with a tripod, because you want to take your special pictures, you can't. You gotta put in your check-in luggage. I guess no one decided to join us on this risky adventure to Bali. About to watch some Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Anna, what I promise you. You promised me that we would watch a episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine every day because Ian doesn't like sitcoms and I like them a lot. Anna's ready for her big flight. Very tired. I think we're sleeping in the airport. Can't believe we made it. Next stop, Bali. I don't know, you hear about these things from everyone all over Instagram. Everyone's saying Bali is one of the best destinations in the world. We're gonna see. We'll let you guys know the real truth. Thank you so much. Have Thank you. Not too many people on this flight. We have a whole row to ourselves. This is the best time to fly. Other than that, we have to sleep in the airport probably and have nowhere to go. The bird has landed. The bird has landed. We are in Bali, about to find a place to sleep. Probably on the ground, the cold, hard ground the realities of traveling and making these choices. We have no idea what our plan is. Anna just pointed this bench. Anna, what'd you say? <laughs> this is my plan. 
I can't believe you had the audacity to ask what the plan is. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting kicked out of the Bali airport. Now it's on to trying to find a bed for the night. We were really thinking about getting a hotel room tonight, but we already wasted some money by leaving our Airbnb that we already had in Jakarta. We have decided on this bench. We're gonna put our bags behind us so no one could steal them. This is what it looks like to budget travel. All right, we're deciding to sleep at the airport. We've slept at airports before, it's not a big deal. We're outside, so the weather is actually not bad. We just put some mosquito repellent on, and hopefully we sleep well. I think we're so stupid. She thinks we're so stupid, and I agree. We'll see you in the morning. All right, the sun has risen. It is beautiful. They say that this time of year is rainy season, but in Bali, very beautiful tropical weather so it's looking like we're gonna have sun for the next 10 days here we slept for a little bit you slept i heard you why didn't you sleep because i had anxiety someone was gonna steal my bag and there's people getting on their flight normal people that don't sleep in the airport we're walking with our bags to the local coffee shop anna's dying the happiest people don't have the best of everything. They just need Bali. Look at this sign. The most Bali sign ever. Ian's never wanted to come to Bali. Because he thinks it's so basic and like, Bali, dude. Stopped at a cafe to get some coffee and wait before our Airbnb people pick us up. We were just at that cafe for way too long. We've been homeless for a while, but finally, we are ready to head to our Airbnb in Abood. Hello, how are you? I'm Ian. Goman. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Like I said, we're headed to Abood. Bali is a massive place, and I think a lot of people don't know that. We really didn't know that until doing some research and hearing about it from other vloggers. You guys are so cute and fluffy. We're staying here for quite a bit, so I think we're gonna be best friends with them by the time we leave. We're big dog people. Ooh. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. What's your Very name? Very pretty. Ian. Ian. Yeah. Wayan. Nice to meet you. What is it? Wayan. Wayan? Wayan. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Look at this room. So pretty. Big bed. You get to wake up with this. Wow. It's so pretty. I want you guys to take a guess. How much do you think this place costs on Airbnb? We're all the way up in Abu, about an hour north of the airport. And here in Bali, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. We're very, very tired if you didn't notice. We're about to take a nap. But Anna said something really good and I wanted to say it again for you guys. I said, I don't know if it's just a placebo effect because we're in Bali, but like just instantly I'm relaxed here. Something I haven't felt in a very long time. We'll be back yeah, later, guys. we both have dogs at home. She's obsessed with her dog. I miss him. One, and then he has one. I have one, one too. Yeah. <laughs> These are the cutest doggies. I've never seen a dog like that before. I dog know. Fluffy. It's so fluffy. Truly, from the bottom of my heart, we are so, so excited to travel this country. Not only Bali, we have so much planned. I don't know, just getting here. Taking that little spontaneous journey has opened us up. We're ready to go. I think this is gonna be the adventure of a lifetime. We spoiled ourselves. Just look at it. Oh, it looks so good. Teriyaki chicken pizza, it's really yeah. hot. You got onions on there. Just got back from eating awesome food. We needed that after our long night in the airport. We just got done planning Abud, our trip here in Bali for the next like 15, 20 days. It's gonna be wild. Anna, you got anything to say? I'm excited. It's it's kind of a weird feeling because I know a lot of these places are kind of known and basic and we like to do, you know, like in Saba, less known things, but we're still very excited. And we just got to wake up really early every day to beat the crowds. That's our goal. Amaral, our tour guide on the Kinabatan River, said it the best. The early bird gets the worm. We got to get up at around probably like 5 a.m. every day, maybe even earlier. It's going to be wild. Like this video, comment down below what you thought. Let's have some fun. We'll see you in the next one. Yip, 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 yip. Rice field. Yip, 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 yip. Rice field. Ooh, riba, riba.